Hey guys, what's going on? It's RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got my 100 mile per hour tractor slash project out with me. Now, I apologize for any noise. I'm on a little side road that's right next to the highway. Uh, so I'm gonna try to keep my voice raised up. But basically, I have this little dead end road right here. Um, that I'm gonna attempt to do my first top speed run with the 100 mile per hour tracks and slash. Now, a uh, little refresher, I am running a 4S system in it right now, and we're gonna test on 4S, and it's still running the stock wheels and tires. Well, not stock. These are actually the Proline trenchers, but um, I'm still waiting on the Arma D-boot wheels to come in. I'm waiting on some 1A scale wheels, or I guess they're technically 1 7th. Uh, so we're gonna test it today. I'm gonna show you what setup I'm running real quick. I am running a Yomi power pack. So this right here is a 6,500 milliamp 60C discharge rate. This is a four cell pack. Uh, it has a Traxxas connector, then an adapter to run a Dean's connector. I have this little jumper here so we can just run one battery. So we're just gonna run the one 6,500 milliamp four cell. Uh, this is of course an Axial Yeti 2200 KV motor, Axial Yeti XL, excuse me. And this right here is an SC8 ESC which is a 4S capable ESC and it was pulled out of some Red Cat Racing RC. I think it's called XTE. It is 4S capable and it's actually just a rebranded Hobby Wing product. So I'm gonna get it hooked up guys and we're gonna try to do some passes. I got my little GPS, I'm gonna hook it on, zero it out, and we're gonna go for some top speed tests with this setup. And also guys, I forgot to mention, I'm running a 21 tooth pinion and whatever the stock spur gear is, which I believe is a 54 tooth. All right guys, I got it set to capture the max speed. I'm gonna get it uh, zip tied onto the back, or sorry, not zip tied, Velcroed onto the back, and then we're gonna test this thing out. So let's go ahead, flip it on. I flip the controller on, yep. I do have the GPS just mounted right there on the back. We're gonna attempt it with the body on. I also might make an attempt without the body on. We will see. All right guys, we're gonna attempt pass number one. Now, this is a little bit of a curve. It's not perfectly, but this is the only road. It's kind of a side road. Uh, it's technically not a used road anymore. So it has a bit of a curve to it, but um, this is about the best spot I can get where I don't have to worry about cars. So I'm gonna take it down to that dead end right there, and we're gonna bring it past. All right, ready? Here we go. I'm gonna just go gentle on the throttle to begin with. It actually went pretty well. Uh, it tracked straight and I think I did get up to full throttle for just a second. So let's go ahead and bring it back guys. I'm gonna take it a little bit further down so we can get a little bit more space to bring it around again. All right guys, here we go. Gradually on the throttle. All right. Okay, I have a pin right now. Oh shit. I completely flipped it. Let's bring it back this way. Let's see if the, if the, uh, let's go ahead, check out what we got. The little jumper cable sticking out right now. Head. Hopefully the GPS did not come off. It looks like it's still in there. I'm surprised wind really was not getting up underneath the body. Not as bad as I thought. So it actually tracked pretty well. Very surprising actually. And the tires didn't even seem to balloon that much. All right guys. And here we go guys. On that very first pass running 4S, I got 57.1 miles per hour. I'm gonna put this back on. I'm gonna keep it set for max speed because I have a feeling I can get faster than that. I think this should be able to go over 60 with 4S in this gearing, at least I hope. I'm gonna take it down to the end once again. Okay guys, ready? Get set. Easing on the throttle. I'm already full speed. I was on it full throttle for at least five seconds. Let's bring it back. I'm confident I got it up full speed. Let's bring it back now. The jumper keeps on coming off the side. I would think that has to be faster than the 57 I put up the first time. 
It's gotta be. Let me get this undone, guys. It still says 57 was the max speed. To be honest, I'm a little disappointed. 4S, we're running 4S LiPo, 57.1. That's really not much more, that's slower than with the top speed gear. And so I'm a little bit perplexed. So I'm gonna actually zero this out. We're gonna start it from zero once again and try another pass. Yeah, I'm surprised. I feel like I'm getting up to about top speed about as fast as I'm gonna be able to get it. But 57 is as fast as it showed. And it, it seems like it should be going faster than 57. We're so gonna take it right down to the end and bring it past. Okay, I'm already pinned right now, guys. All right, bringing it back. Ooh, we got some air. Did the GPS, ah, oh, shit, I can see it. The GPS fell off. I gotta go get it, guys. I'll be right back. It got air that time. That time, unfortunately, air did get up underneath the, <clears throat> excuse me, air did get up underneath the body. I saw it fall off. There's something up here. Is this it? Oh, the actual mount. Okay, this is my mount off the top. That's one thing. Maybe the GPS didn't come off. Let me check. It might have been this thing that I saw fly off, which is basically um, the GoPro mount. I do see it is still on there, guys. Let's see what it picked up or if it picked up a top speed. There, yeah. Look at look at how the mount came right through the body. That was a nasty uh, flip that I did back there. So, all right, let's see. All right, and it picked up even slower, guys. So. 54.6 this time. I'm, I'm getting a little bit disappointed with this top speed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more pass, um, but this time I'm gonna do it with the body off and see what kind of speed we get, if we're gonna gain any speed. I was pinned that whole time, so I'm a little bit confused as to, um, and the motor's like not even warm. Nothing really feels warm. So I'm gonna mount it back up. I'm still gonna leave it set at max speed 54.6 and just try to top it, but this time with the body off and hopefully we don't flip it. All right, guys, here we go. I'm hoping we can pick up a little bit of speed with the body off. We should be able to. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it past. Ready, guys? All right, guys, I'm already pinned. Yeah, it definitely seems faster. All right, let's bring it back. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a full pass. Okay, full speed right now. Or a full throttle, anyway. Okay, that should have picked up a solid top speed. All right, guys, let's see what it, what did it pick up. It didn't top 54.6, so 57.1 is actually the fastest I saw. So that's a little bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought it would be faster than that. So for the very first run of the 100 mile per hour slash, <laughs> we're almost half of what we need to be. So I think 6S is gonna be a must, but keep in mind guys, we're still running the stock tires. Um, I haven't made any cuts to the body. This is a stock body. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one or that other one that I showed you. When I put the armor wheels and tires on those street tires, those should perform better. Those should get us a, a higher top speed just from less rolling resistance, I would assume. And then from there, um, you know, if I get a 6S ESC in there, I'm sure that'll make a huge difference. But yeah, definitely shorter what I thought. So 57.1, that's the most I saw. So, um, interesting. I'm gonna get a little launch in real quick. Ready? Get set, go. Oh, that's 4S power for you guys. I can tell you running the um, the high speed gearing with that stock VXL setup, uh, that thing does not launch like that. This definitely has some launching power. Let's try that again, ready? Set, go. Oh, close up. That's on the pavement it's doing that, guys. That's not even really because of the snow. That's literally just on the pavement. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little launch just uh, with the body on, just to see kind of what it looks like. Ooh, 
Yeah, it's spinning all four tires. Let's do a launch this way. Ready? Get set. Go. Yeah, where I notice it is on the bottom end. On the bottom end, I notice it for sure. The launching that it has is like ridiculous now. The, the acceleration it has when I'm launching is insane. Ready? Get that? Go. I mean, look at that. Look at it go. Like, it, it just doesn't have it on the top end. And that's a 21 tooth pinion. So the numbers are not computing or they're not translating. I think we hit low voltage mode, guys. By the way, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel and the video out. Um, also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet, because uh, this is just run number one with the 100 mile per hour tracks and slash project. Um, so 57, 57 is the most we got, but we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna keep on making improvements till we hit that 100 mile per hour mark. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. All right, guys, I'm back inside the Jeep. Um, but what I was saying outside is those numbers don't really compute, or they don't translate, I should say. Because if the track is slash 4x4 VXL model, and this is an ultimate, but basically the same thing, if the top speed from the manufacturer, from Traxxas, is claimed at 60 plus miles per hour, and that's with the optional pinion. Now, the optional pinion is either an 18 or a 19 tooth. So with an 18 or a 19 tooth pinion, Traxxas claims that you can get up over 60 miles per hour. Now, I just had it geared up to a 21 tooth and then the stock spur gear, which would be the same for the top speed setup as well. So with a 21 tooth pinion, which is even higher, running a whole cell more lipo, so running 4S rather than 3S, we're not even getting up to 60. So let me know in the comments what you guys think is going on because that's very confusing. Like it feels faster. It definitely is faster. That punch from the get-go, that, that initial acceleration, it's spinning all four tires, it's nuts. But the top speed, I guess, is not there. Um, this isn't a perfectly straight road, but I felt like I had it pinned for long enough where it should have gotten pretty close to the top speed, and our first pass was the, was the fastest one we got. And that was only 57.1. And really, with the high-speed gearing, I think that's about the exact same top speed I got, 56.9 or 57.1 something like that that's the highest speed i got um with the high speed gearing but that's running 3s so with a whole nother cell more of lipo that doesn't it just is not adding up that's making no sense i'm very very confused um and actually we didn't even gain any speed with the body off so even when i took the body off guys we didn't gain any speed the very first pass with the body on was the fastest pass we got from there it just went down so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you guys in another video later